And now, my Saturday superlative series comes to the running backs. And this is a guy that, once again, is one of my favorite running backs. I mean, he's in my top four. Um, he's right now my number four. If he comes out, it's Jamar Jefferson at Oregon State. I really, really, really like this kid. Um, reminds me a little bit of Carnell uh, Cadillac Williams, uh, though he's a little more compact. But uh, 29 carries, 226 yards. He also, had, uh, for two touchdowns, he can catch the ball. Not, not big, but powerful, and he has that second gear. He, he's got good speed and initial acceleration, then he can re-accelerate once he's already on the move. I, I really like him. Uh, moving online, another guy in, is in my top six is Jarrett Patterson, and another guy who's not very big but has a lot of power, a lot of leg drive, sort of an Austin Eckler-ish, uh, not quite as big and powerful, though Eckler's not big, but he's a little smaller version of that, I guess. 36 carries, 409. Yes, 409. He's putting up the kind of numbers you associate with guys like Emmett Smith and Bo Jackson and Herschel Walker did in high school. He's doing this in college. He's had a 300-yard game, a 400-yard game. If he plays again, he might go for 500. Super productive. And I know some people say, what's well, the Mac, but I don't care where you dropped him. You put him in the SEC, he's going for 240. I mean, he is special. Uh, I wonder how he'll test, but, I mean, when you go for 36 carries, 409 yards, and 8 touchdowns, I don't care who you're doing that against. If you're literally doing that against, like, inflatable dummies, you're doing something. Just a freak. Uh, here's a guy that I had only seen, you know, a very little bit of. He's a Juco stud, but he's finally getting his chance due to injury to the running back position in Oklahoma State is Desmond Jackson. He's a 5'10 and a half, about 217 pounds, probably a low 4'5s kind of guy. Shifty, powerful, um, sort of like Royce Freeman, if you want to think of like a pro comparison for him. But he just went went off. Uh, 36 carries, 235 yards, three touchdowns. Showed you a little bit of everything. And I also want to mention a guy that I, I once again noticed a little bit, but now I've only started to really focus on is Kevon Lee at Penn State. 22 carries, 134 yards, and a touchdown. And Penn State struggled. He's doing this behind a less than stellar offensive line without a great passing game. So that really lets you know that he's getting a lot of this really on his own. Here's a guy that I really like also. Uh, second appearance, I believe, for Isaiah Spiller, a, a guy with a great height-weight-speed combination. 27 carries, 141 yards, a touchdown. He can catch the ball. A lot to like. A lot to like. Um, here's a guy that I may have mentioned before. I can't remember, but if I haven't, I should. One, he's a member of the all-name team, Sincere McCormick at UTSA, University of uh, Texas, San Antonio. And 23 carries for him, 251 yards, which would really sound crazy if it weren't for we just talking about Jarrett Patterson earlier, but uh, a couple of touchdowns. And once again, a, a guy that has maybe even a third gear, but definitely has a great second gear. He's a person that you see people miss because he throws out their angles because he has a great change of speed on the go. Another guy that I really, 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 really like, and I'll, everyone compares him to Darren Sproles, and I, for once, I will be like everyone else. Uh, Deuce Vaughn is 5'5", five, five, maybe. 5'4 uh, and 7'8", maybe, but who knows? Hopefully 5'5", five, five, maybe a little more, but 168 pounds, but he's so powerful for his size. Once again, just like Sproles. You know, the whole, I mean, the Sproles thing, it's impossible not to see it, but he's really special. 102 yards in rushing, uh, also, uh, 19 yards receiving, two touchdowns, one receiving and one rushing. And he's one of those guys who just have to get on space. I mean, all the things you would say about Sproles, just sort of plug them in. Here's a second appearance for a guy that I also liked. I mentioned him. I saw him earlier in the season and liked him, and I'd still like him. It's Jarek Broussard of Colorado. Uh, he had 22 carries, 124 yards. He also had a, a catch for 14 yards, a, a touchdown rushing. And he's going to probably be a third down back at the next level. But there's, a, once again, all the things that you look for from a guy that can make people miss in a short area, has surprising power for his size, and is carrying the load, really, for an offense that uh, is getting better, developing. I mean, Sam Neuer's getting better. The offense as a whole is getting better, but he's still the heart, to me, of that offense. Moving on. Um, James Cook, right? Dallin Cook's little bro. At Georgia, Georgia has a couple of super talented running backs. They just have to figure out a way to divvy up all the carries. But James Cook has pretty much all the qualities we noticed in Dalvin. He might even have a little more change of direction in terms of that. We'll see. 
when the testing time rolls around, but I really like him. Six carries. You only needed six, I guess. 104 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, just, I mean, I, I think they need to find a way to try to give him about 12 carries a game to see what he does with that, but I really like him. And another guy that I've mentioned once before, I'm going to mention again, Coastal Carolina is not a fluke, people. They would beat a lot of people in the top 20, maybe in the top 15. They are, in my mind, a definite top 20 program. And C.J. Marable is the heart of their offense. Well, Grayson McCall is the heart of their offense. And the lungs or the, the offense, I guess, are C.J. Marable. But those two together are, are difficult to deal with. And Marable went for 16 carries for 157 yards and three touchdowns. And he's another guy that catches the ball really well. That's the thing I like about the running backs. I've noted almost every single one of them also has really good hands. And those are my running back Saturday superlatives. <laughs>